In this video, I'm going to show you the workflow for creating an animation from an explode state. This animation will show the assembly process for the housing part. We start by creating an explode state and editing the position of the components. We need to start by removing the bolts. The first tip is to turn on the option Move with Children. Since these bolts are patterned, I can select the first bolt, pull on the 3D dragger, and notice all the bolts move together. I'm going to uncheck the option and continue to position the components. If we need to move more than one component together that are not children, you can select the first component, hold control, and select the second component. Finally, we can move the housing. When we're finished, we'll hit the complete button. This next step is important. Notice the plus symbol next to the explode state. We need to explicitly save our changes. I'll right click, choose save, and click OK. Now we can enter the animation application. Notice by default, we're defining an explode state animation. Under the new animation dropdown, we can create an explode state, snapshot, or import from MDO animation type. The next thing we need to do is define the keyframe sequence. Since we're defining the assembly process, I'm going to add our explode state at time zero and the unexploded state at the end of the keyframe, which by default is 10 seconds. Let's click OK and preview our animation. Notice all the components moved at the same time. The next tip is to edit the keyframe sequence and turn on the option Follow Explode Sequence. Let's preview the animation again. Notice the components move in order as we define the explode state. That happened a little fast, so let's go into playback and we can adjust the speed during the playback using this dragger. The next thing we want to do is use style at time. So this impeller actually is hidden at the beginning of the animation and only appears when we need to assemble it. Notice that impeller starts to move at about six seconds. What I'm going to do is go back into the standard application and define a style state. I'm going to use the show option and transparent. I select my component and click OK. Notice the component completely disappears because I have the config option style underscore state underscore transparency set to 100. Let's go back into the animation application and I'm going to set a style at time. We want the component to be completely invisible until we put it into position. I'm going to put our transparent style at time zero. And then it started to move around six and a half, seven seconds. So let's at time six, add our style state again. And then we'll add the master style so we can actually see the component at time seven. We want that master style to stay until the end of time 10. Let's preview our animation again. Again, we can use playback to get a better sense of what our animation looks like. Notice the impeller is not visible 
until it actually moves into position. If we're happy with this animation, we can click Stop, click the Save button, and choose MPEG or AVI to create a video.